Hi, my name is Nilan Aras. I am 13 years old and I will be studying grade 8 this year. On a daily basis, I hear a lot of people complaining about how books are boring and they don't like books. But I can't relate. For me, books have always been something more than just something to read as a hobby. It's been a passion, something to look forward to on a bad day. And most importantly, this may sound too familiar because it's a very famous quote, a book is always a great friend, the best indeed. The book I have chosen is titled The Naive and Sentimental Novelist. The Naive and Sentimental Novelist is written by a Turkish novelist who is the recipient of the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature for his book My Name is Red, Orhan Pamuk. He is also known for his other books, The Museum of Innocence and Silent House. Uh, the book is non-fiction and each chapter is a part of a lecture that the author has done in Harvard University during the year of 2009. Due to the fact that this book is a lecture, it does not have a main character. But since the book addresses every reader and describes their personal thoughts and habits while reading, the reader will feel like this book was written for and about them, making them assume that they are the main character. Uh, the Naive and Sentimental Novelist consists of six chapters with an epilogue and it is 190 pages, which I read in the span of three days and I read for one and a half hour on a daily basis. I personally do not just enjoy reading books. I enjoy reading about books just as much, especially if it is written in a simple and informative way. Moreover, every sentence in this book was a continuation of the previous sentence, which enhanced my curiosity and made reading even more enjoyable since I was looking for an answer to the many questions I had. Every part of this book, starting from the very beginning until the end, teaches you something new about novels, novel readers, and novelists. It teaches you how our minds work when we read novels, how we desperately seek out information in order to figure out what is happening. Moreover, it explains what keeps a novel interesting is the secret center, which is the profound opinion or insight on life that is deeply embedded within the story which we look for while reading. Every sentence in this book is effective and worth remembering, but what stood out the most for me was a quote on page 27. I read as novels as if in a dream state, forgetting everything else in order to gain knowledge of the world, to construct myself and to shape my soul. This quote is something that I personally relate to. It is more than just uh, the author expressing how he feels when reading a novel. It is how I feel while reading. Everything around me disappears and I fall into the book and slowly fall in love with the book. I think that every one of us, especially those who are keen on novels, should see novels from Orhan Pamuk's perspective so that they can understand the greatness of a novel better. Now it's time for today's reading tip. Something you should always pay attention to while reading is your posture. You should try to keep your spine in a neutral position. This can be done by sitting up straight in your chair. You should try to avoid slouching your shoulders or lowering your face in order to read because hunching forward can cause reducing of focus and concentration.
Second, you should try to find some back support while you are reading. Last but not least, you should bring the book to meet the level of your eyes. This will also help you in keeping your back straight. If you keep your book too far, instead of moving your body, you should move the book. This will also help in maximizing the size of the letters. Thank you for being with us today. Hope you enjoyed. Read fast, read smart, and love books. See you in the next episode.